guys, it's Q&A and today I'm going to bring you another war recap of a fantastic war win. Be honest, I that I'm not particularly well so I don't really feel like right doing this video but for you guys I'm going to take shower buff advice and just do it! Now let's get into the replays. We almost got a perfect war but all four of our town nines failed against this base. You son of a gun. So let's get into the other replays. Now, I'm going to show much more replays today, including some Tanner rating 7 ones, so you get to listen to some more, dry some more of my drivel. Yay! So, this is Vinny once again, and they bored of his attacks, but he's still performing, so I'm still showing him. Race number two. He, um... Was that CC? This this guy, I can't believe he hasn't upgraded this crank castle here. Such a new move. First thing you do while you get to town all night, you go would always upgrade the crank castle so you can fit 30 spaces for an attacking golem and much more defense as well, but mostly for the attack. This is a really bad base design as well, as there are barely any giant bomb spots. And as you'll see in a minute, it has the weirdest double giant bomb in history, although it wasn't really much of one anyway. So, he puts his skill squad in, kills screen, takes a big chunk of the base out. And in, in typical Vinny fashion, he surgically deploys his hogs around the base and spams heals unstrategically whatsoever. I'm joking. I love you, Bailey. Must be some strategy to it. But, now, I'm going to show you the end of this way. Just got one thing to say. Got him. Next, this one, my man. This is a sh shattered go all wound. I don't think I've shown any of these yet. Yeah. This is basically the other main town all nine three star strategy, which instead of using hogs, you use um, lava hounds and balloons. What you want with your kill squad to take out the queen and at least one air defense, but preferably two. But this wasn't needed to get to because the last air defence was level 4 anyway, and therefore, and the test was low, so therefore it was easy to get through the rest of the base. And as you'll see, I'll speed you up, but you got to put your house out, surgically put your balloons around on each defence. What I didn't like about this attack is that you didn't save any balloons for the back end for like these three defences, and this could have cost him. However, he's a, he's a lucky guy and it didn't cost him. So... Unfortunately, I seem to have got the can't watch the end of replay disease again, and now I'm going to back out. Next attack is going to be against Public Enemy. This is the first town I always think I've shown for for a bit. And this is a really poor design. This is um this this is a good show of how town always drag, especially versus bad design. What you got to do is first exactly one of the air defenses. He doesn't do it first, but he does do this on. I'm assuming since he's going at these two. First air defence, and then you put your drag sword to the other two. You can use balloons and get balloons in your CC to um, boost towards the air defences. And sorry, I'm made to go ignore you. I'm uploading the video, boys. So, next thing is literally just getting through the base now. Drags are boring, but they are effective. Yawn. Which is why I use Mommy Town always as well, as you can see in cooking and cooking room right now. And we're about to start a war soon. Back to the um, war again. That was a little bit sidetracked. Next one's by Finn. Biggest group in the clan, of course. JK, love you really. Finally got his whole throw for. And once you do that, you're practically unstoppable, totally. But Finn, if you're watching this, Please bring two poisons and kill CC outright and bring 38 to 40 hogs. That's just the best way because then you're not going to run out of hogs really unless you hit a double giant bomb. So p take bear that in mind, please. Even so, he always take, takes out the CC with his archers and wizards and then with his hogs, he's put them in three groups. He will teach. Group has two, two of them converged, healed up top, and 
as you see, Hulk's just so easy to restart, and it's as well being the best adapter of Tower 9, it also is a Tower 9. And as well as being the best strategy of Tower 9, as you'll see here, it's also the best strategy versus Tower 7s. As you see, drags used to be, but however, with the addition of the third air defence, they are much harder now. So now, Hogs are the way to go again. This time, you should bring either a few wizards and barbs or archers to keep the enemy CC as. You cannot be poisoned at Town Hall 7. He puts his hogs all in one group, which I would recommend. One critique I have for this raid is that Zach doesn't um, put his CC full hogs down straight away, which have both the highest HP and the highest DP, so they should be going down first. However, he heals pretty good. This one was a little bit dodgy, but you get through the race really easily. Another critique I have is. Don't bring Quan Castle balloons as as you see they're getting shot down by the air thread. So this this is still a good win experience for you all of what not to do. However, still a great raid, Zach, and well done on the three star. And with the end of that raid, Marsh end this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Please comment your feedback, like this video to go on the top of search algorithm and subscribe to get that number ever so close to one hundred. Peace.